have this brownish mentality. You said your dad I'm like <laughs> 24 hours right, literally. You have to go and write your exam, so why you hi, I'm going out. <laughs> In their defense, this actually a pool. The pool is just not functioning. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Favor, and it's still your favorite channel, Favor Liz Vlog. And here with me today is Bao Akare Sebao of Living and Loving with Akare Sebao. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the expectations and the realities of coming to IU. When I was coming to IU, I had a lot of expectations, which of a very few I'm going to be sharing with you. When I was coming to IU, I had this brownish mentality. <laughs> First of all, when I went on YouTube, I searched and I said, okay, let me see what I'm getting myself into. There were no, there were literally no, like, no videos, no videos no to show what I'm actually getting into. If you don't know, Ayo is like the first private university in Nigeria. Yeah. This Ayo has been on for 20 something years now at this yeah. point. And most of their buildings are quite old. This school was built when these things were really not in existence. So you can't really blame them. But of late, they've attempted to do quite a number of innovations in which they've succeeded in. Yeah. But when I was in 100, like when I first came to this school, it was not difficult. My second expectation was that everything is within a trackable distance. You know, when you see other private investors, you have Babcock, Covenant, and everything. Everything is within one whole building. Like the hostel, the classes, the churches, and everything. But here, we have three different campuses. We have the estate where we stay, we have PS, and we have TS. And it's not even trackable at all. You have to use, like, transportation to get to TS. You have to use transportation to get to TS. And it's really not easy. Like she said earlier, you won't really see much about it online. But coming here, everything is so far apart from each other. If you do not know how to trek, and in hundred of you, you can't bring a car. You so learn. you have to trek, except you have a lot of money to go with cars. But everything is not within trekking distance. You have to enter transport to go from your hostel to class, to go from your hostel to bank. A whole lot of things you have to enter transport. So have that in mind when coming as a new student to the university. 24 hours like. I don't know. I, just, I I always have these high expectations for anything I'm doing. I don't think any private university has 24 hours lights. I I had Covenant has has 24 hours lights. Whoa, that's nice. But when I was coming to IU, I was expecting 24 hours like that. They will not even blink the lights. But in reality, we have like 10 hours lights or 12 hours lights during so here's the day. The Covenant has 24 hours like does not mean they actually do have 24 hours night. Like maybe they off the lights in hostels. The way IO does. IO does this thing where they switch off the lights in hostels. Like yes. you're coming back from school, you're seeing, you're seeing like, like in everywhere shops. except your room. hostel. Yeah. Reason be okay, their reason is that they want people, people to, to go, go to school. class. But it's not a realistic reason doing an exam because you have to go and write your exam. So why are you guys open that? I swear. And then the weather conditions is also a very big factor when considering the light because any small wind like this in Okada, <laughs> the light is out. <laughs> but, they'll, but they'll still come online and send circular and say we apologize for the inconvenience. We are going to put it on soon. We're just checking something so that this this will not spoil. That's really nice of them to communicate with us. Yeah, I feel fact. like that's one thing that either, I don't know where it's a new students council or something, but they've been. They've been they have a way of pushing on points. Yes. If light is bad, they'll let us know that oh it's going to be on soon. Basically they don't they don't just leave they us. They are in just dark. communicating with us, letting us understand what is happening. And that's really, really nice. And also during the weekends we have 24 hours lights, literally. Yeah, they, they don't, don't take light during the weekends. Except where it is. That really. is I love that part of this school, the light. Because sometimes I forget to charge my phone. And when I remember there's still light. Except it is raining. Really I was expecting normal private investors, you have to buy food, you are not allowed to cook, is it like go to the cafeteria or you pay for feeding? When I was trying to pay my school fees, I was looking for the um, option where you have to pay for feeding. It was not there, I was like, okay. So I, I did my research more and I found out, okay, they actually do cook in this school. Which is really nice because I love cooking. I sometimes I don't feel like eating anybody's food except my own. Yeah. So 
I feel like I will not have that luxury in another private university, which is really, really nice. I also had a similar experience to yours. So, if you don't know, I was supposed to go to Bangkok University, just that stupid Bangkok did not give me admission. See, I'm still not that school for that. But that's that's beside the point. That. But basically, I was supposed to go to Bangkok. And if you guys know anything about Bangkok, you know that you pay for feeding. Yeah. You have, I don't know whether it's meal tickets, There's, I don't know how the system works. Two meal, three meal plan. But you pay for feeding. Yeah. So, when I was coming to Benelio, I expected something similar to that. I just expected that it's going to be part of our school. Because when I get here, I'm going to be giving food and everything. Every other thing. So when I was coming, I didn't even come with provisions, I didn't come oh, with I gas, didn't. I didn't come with nothing. My dad, the first thing I did Ghana must go. <laughs> I I went to go and buy all these things because if you this school does not send your daddy about your food, if you know it, you will starve. Mm -hmm. Except kitchen and cook your food by yourself. You have kitchens in your rooms, like most yeah. rooms have kitchenettes or kitchen designated to eat. The only place you don't have a kitchen is 100 level, and I feel like they do that. 100 level, they had like a kitchenette, but, but they don't it's allow not realistic inside because there's no corridor. window. Yeah, you have there's to no your windows. corridor. Except you want to kill yourself with heat or burn your room. You can cook inside the room. You can cook in your corridors though, but either ways you can still cook. It's permitted to cook. So that's one very good thing about IO that I did not joke with. And then I was expecting, you know, this gate pass thing that is happening in all private universities. Exit card. If you want to leave, you need to get an exit card or not. But when I came to IO, I was like, okay, the gate is always open. Okay. I'm leaving. Nobody's asking me where are you going to. Nobody said your dad. I'm like, I'm free to go. I'm free to leave. Hi, I'm going out. <laughs> I was like, okay, so they're not calling my parents that I'm leaving. That's really, really nice. That's, that's that time, that time, that kind of time when you're feeling your, when we're feeling your form initially, when we're saying parents number, I know a lot of people that not feel their parents number because I actually did because assumed, I was not planning to do anything bad. Because they all assumed that, okay, yeah, when they're about leaving, they'll, they'll call, call their, their parents, parents and stuff like that. But Ayo doesn't send your dad yet. As long as you follow their rules and regulations, they yeah, are fine. Food. Online allocation of hostels <laughs> that they were about to start last year. Which did not really fall in place. It's both a good and bad thing because yeah. I had to, I I had the luxury of retaining my room. Most people like most people will not have that luxury because if you come online, if you have not paid your fees, and this person has paid their fees, they are booking your room before you. I heard, yeah, bro. People booked my roommate's space before them, and I was like, I don't want to stay with new people. <laughs> Give me back my roommate. So it was just. Somehow, and it's also a good thing because you can control how you get your rooms. Yeah, you can control the luxury of your, your accommodation from your house, so you don't need to rush back to school. You can just take your time and come back to school. Another thing about the rooms in IU is that you can actually customize your room. It's really a very very nice thing. Most schools they don't you allow paint that. You can paint your room. You can school. style your room. I know schools that tell you, you cannot knock nail on that wall. I swear, you cannot when do this, you cannot like do that. Knock 200 nails on that wall. Just don't destroy, don't their, destroy their properties. That's, that's just basically. Pay. So that's basically my expectations and the realities that I got while coming to IU. I'm going to post more videos. I know that I've not been consistent. I'm always saying this thing and I'm never consistent. But this year, that's my new resolution. I want to try and you know be more active on social media, be more active on YouTube and actually vlog more. You guys should hold her to that. She has said she's going to be more accountable. If she does not post a video, reach out to her on a social media platform and accuse her of lying. No, I will. I will accuse, accuse her of not posting the video. You guys should go check out my channel. I'm Bauer of Living and Loving with a Parents I'm going to Bauer. put her handle on the screen and putting it down in the comment section so you do not have any reason not to subscribe. Like her content are literally mad. If you want to learn how to style your wig, if you want to learn more about living a healthy life, basically. <laughs> She's there for you. So you guys should go subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. And subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And bye.